Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to power your Vista 20P. Now, your 20P, if you buy it new, you're going to get one of these in the box. This is the transformer that uh, comes with it. This is the Honeywell 1321. It has a voltage rating of 16.5 AC, and as you can see, it has a power rating of 25 volt amps. Right on the back here, you can see it has the two terminals for your AC outs, which will connect to your panel's AC input, and it works great. They're convenient in that if you're looking to see how your 20P is powered, just look around for one of these beige boxes and you'll likely find the transformer for the system. Now, if you have a 21 IP or if you have an external communicator, you may see a different kind of transformer. This guy right here is the Honeywell 1361. Uh, it also provides 16.5 volts of AC for its, uh, for its voltage, but it has a 40 volt amp output, which is larger than the 25. The reason that you would use this with a Vista 20P is that if you've purchased, let's say, an uh, IGSM V4G, which is an external communicator that has IP and cellular, that's actually going to ship with one of these. You can use this for, to power your system and this to power your transformer at the same time. Or if you want to save yourself a plug, if you take this off of the system's power, so you have your panel mounted here and you have the wires coming down to the transformer. You're going to remove this from those wires. You would install this one on the wires and then from your communicator you would actually connect its AC, uh, AC wires to the system's AC input. So the wires would go from this transformer up to the system AC input and then from there it would go up to the external communicator's AC input. You have to use the larger transformer, the Honeywell 1361, to achieve that as you need the 40 volt amps that this outputs to uh, accomplish that. It is convenient though as you can power both your system and your external communicator with one transformer. It saves you a plug and as you can see these are somewhat large and they can be uh, troublesome when you're plugging more than one into a power strip or to a wall outlet. Another instance of where you would get this larger transformer is if you have a Vista, if you have a Vista 21 IP. Now, on the 21 IP, you're probably not going to use a shared transformer setup like you would on the 20P because the 21 IP has built-in communication options. It has an IP uh, jack right on the board, and you can also install a proprietary cellular communicator that works on the system. So because of those reasons, you're probably not going to have an external communicator sitting with your 21 IP, but you will get this transformer when you do purchase a Vista 21 IP. But if you do have that 20P, you're likely going to have one of these installed. And if you do want to do the shared transformer setup with an external communicator, you will need a larger transformer like the Honeywell 1361. If you do have any questions though about setting up a shared transformer setup, on your Vista 20P about how your 20P is powered, about purchasing a replacement transformer, or anything power related with the system, feel free to head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or give us a call at 888-818-7728. If you enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below. We'll send you an update when we do so. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.